Hi everybody and welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I am Bob and we're here for another episode of Age of Wonders 3. My current Age of Wonders 3, uh, the fifth advanced strategy series. Got a lot of good feedback from you guys. I did want to just quickly point out no uh, webcam for this episode. I was having some technical issues with that. I think I mostly worked through them, but it really comes down to more of a matter of time today, especially recording these episodes on the weekdays. Um, but I may try to, I may give that another shot this weekend with the next Planetfall video, uh, if everything works out. But that being said, we've got uh, a lot of good feedback from you guys to go through, as is often the case. I wanted to start by something that I mentioned in the last episode, and uh, Rocky Biswas said that the phylactery, which I can look up, I think I briefly mentioned it in the last episode, this is a necromancer thing, um, as long as the throne city which holds the phylactery is kept, the necromancer will respawn the turn after being killed. In addition, research and spell casting is on hold while the leader's in the void. Uh, so, that is why they were casting spells from the grave, or why specifically um, uh, the, the, the dwarf necromancer, I don't remember his name off the top of my head, Telgar or something like that, um, he was casting spells from uh, the grave after I killed him in a battle that took place over here. So, thank you Rocky for pointing that out. Uh, from Paul Krause, I left an item behind the Sphinx Temple. Good call. I would have never even seen that underneath all the the resource indicators there, but I figure I may as well run out. I'll just we'll send the tiger. He can go get it. Tiger can go out and check that out. That is a shadow step medallion. I think uh, maybe I left it because I don't know. I may as well send it to Ganon and have it sold. I might have left it because I didn't have enough. Uh, storage space to hold it on anybody, but I guess we'll send it to Ganon. But yeah, free money, so I'll, I'll take it. Um, from Jeff, I've got, when possible, actually, a general conversation. I, I'm going to frame, frame this one a little differently, okay? So let me see if I can get this right. So, in general, with regard to research, basically, their research in this game is weird and complicated and has a lot of funny rules to it. I think I've talked about research, research order, research breakthroughs, um, all that stuff multiple times throughout my series. But some general rules of thumb to follow that I thought were helpful uh, were helpful. Jeff said, uh, when possible, wait to send research until the end of the turn because research boosts from structures and treasure sites could allow for multiple researches being completed in one turn so if you wait to set your research until the end of the turn then you can kind of gauge how much extra research you've got from anything you picked up like for example clearing a sphinx temple like the one down here i was just at i got like 500 research out of that as that piles up you can use that information to make wise selections and try to get multiple research options completed at the end of your turn if you wait to select research until the end of your turn. Now, I just habitually click on it. I do that all the time, um, which I shouldn't do, but I do. That's just something I thought was worth pointing out. And similarly, from Ivan Engel, said the rule of thumb to maximize research, if you do select something, select smaller research first and end the turn with bigger research. So that basically just means that if you have something small uh, research, like say a uh, research worth 500, and I get... Um, I get a 515 bonus out of this, okay? That would auto-complete that research right away. That completes it on this turn, thus allowing me to select something else. So generally speaking, start your turn with small research, if you select anything at all, which you might not want to, and end with bigger research. Especially at this point in the game when you're racing for something like, uh, whatever the quest is called, all-knowing. Yeah, when you're racing for a quest like all-knowing. Uh, others from Ivan Engel, uh, the library apparently does not give you the spell you are currently researching. If that's the case, I might be able to research stuff in a certain intelligent order, make it so that uh, by the... Try to get it down to where I only have two uh, spells left to research. So let's say I get it down to uh, Armageddon and one other thing, Wrath of God, Blight, Empire, whatever. If I start researching Blight Empire and then clear, and if the only other thing remaining is Armageddon and then I clear that lost library, I could probably get Armageddon in one turn. So on that note, what I'm going to end up doing with these Crusaders is have them stand on the library 
and wait until the right moment and then clear it to try to get that big spell. There's not really, I'm not really in any other rush to complete the library, so I may as well, because right now if I complete it, I'm going to have a one out of three chance of getting Armageddon, which is the only one I really want. Of course, if I'm lucky, I'll just get a research breakthrough somewhere and this won't really matter, but it's worth mentioning anyway. Um, okay, so moving on, we got Casper Eklund pointed out that orc priests are useful in libraries, like the one I was clearing up here. Uh, orc, or orc priests are useful in there because of their ability to break control, uh, which is a good point. Let's flip down to them and look at that. Basically, most of you guys already probably are more aware of this than I am because I always forget to use things like break control. But uh, somewhere in here, we should have break control. There it is. So libraries a lot of times have evangelists in them, which can convert your units. And break control is just a good way of getting out of a nasty situation. I got a little lucky in my last battle. All the conversion attempts failed on my big beetles. But uh, it is worth keeping that in mind because if you get unlucky then you get screwed um you know what there's another library coming up on the next turn i wonder if i might readjust how i'm doing these because i've got two libraries to get through so you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to research i'm gonna research blight empire on this turn no, I'll research Wrath of God. So I can get that in one turn. I'm going to research Wrath of God, and then I will clear one of these two libraries, and then I'll have a two out of three chance of getting something that's worth at least two turns. That might be the right way to go about doing this. Sorry, that was kind of a weird segue there, but the thought just occurred to me at that specific moment. I forgot this group was heading at another magic library. Um, also from Casper Eklund, Mentioned that I never made evangelists, but human and draconian evangelists are especially useful. Um, so yeah, I didn't really do much with evangelists in this game, but I just wanted to quickly point out for the sake of this being an advanced strategy series, uh, let's switch over to the Theocrat and look for, well, actually that's spells, not units. Hang on. So we'll just look up evangelists. I think I, yeah, I actually spelled that right. I thought I typoed that. So there's a lot of different options with the Evangelists, but it's worth noting that both the Draconians with Firebolts and the Humans with Spirit Ray have range attacks. Uh, orcs don't, and most, I don't think any of the others do. So, but, it, but that's worth keeping in mind as you're selecting a Theocrat, which makes, part of the reason I didn't build them is because the Orcs aren't really that useful, but... Um, I guess they're not terrible. Any of any, any unit that can convert's good, but in particular, draconians and humans have some very good ones. Um, I think orc theocrat pairs well for other reasons. I like their crusaders, and I like some of their other. Well, I, it's mostly I love their crusaders, but uh, yeah, I just thought that was worth pointing out. Um, from Sarah Feingold mentioned I my gold has dropped below 1k. I need to take care of that. Get that back up. Um, there's probably some production somewhere I can cancel. So let me click around here for a second. The That's worth 100. That wouldn't give me enough by itself. I would have to cancel two observatories. I don't really want to do that. That settler's almost done. There's got to be something somewhere. Okay, that hospital is worth 250. So what I can do is cancel that. And yeah, we'll just let the city build the library and then I'll queue the hospital up after that. And that gives me back up above a thousand, just, just momentarily. Um, feedback regarding, oh yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna skip that one for the moment. Last couple are from Impregnable. Cast and break darkness before summoning spirit elemental. Also suggested rushing orange with Carson's army and hoping, like, rushing their capital and hoping to maybe find their leader along the way. Um, that's a decision I'll make probably next turn once this stuff kind of shapes up because Karzin's army is pretty much out of movement. But maybe not a bad idea. I'm actually less worried about Karzin charging in wildly uh, than I am about the Necro sitting around here trying to hold things off. But maybe Karzin could be a big enough distraction. With regard to Embrace Darkness, I actually already have it on the city that I was 
planning to summon spirit, el spirit elementals in on account of the arcane catalyst, but I may not have time to do that. So his suggestion was to was to queue up, embrace darkness now, and then decide I could I could summon a spirit elemental in one of these cities. He was thinking I might have enough to actually summon two spirit elementals. So let's look about let, let's look at that. So right now I've got 44 magic, um, and I'm gonna spend let's just say 40 for the sake of simplifying the math a little bit. I actually have a little bit more than that, but we'll say that's 40. Um, this is worth 60. So on the next turn, I'll have to spend 20, but on the next turn, I'll also get 200. So I won't be able to summon, well, I'll, I'll basically have 200 to spend next turn. Um, so I won't be able to summon two spirit elementals, but I will be able to summon one. And as it is right now, with my current amount of casting, even if I summoned a spirit elemental on this turn, they're worth 150. 44 plus 220 is not 300. So regardless of what I do, I'm not going to be able to summon two of them on the next turn. So I may as well have Embrace Darkness ready to cast another city should I need it. All right, and that's pretty much all the comments. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to leave them where they are. Leave these guys where they are. Um, the only other thing I wanted to talk a little bit about was the positioning of the face cam. I'm hearing your feedback about that. Trying to keep it out of the way as much as possible, and I think I have some ideas how I'm going to do that. Um, I'll experiment, like I said, probably with Planet Fall. Uh, make sure I don't have anything else I need to do. I don't think there is. Um, but yeah, I'll experiment a little bit more with it uh, playing Planet Fall this weekend, hopefully, provided it works. Oh, crap. They got here before I could properly reinforce it. And they brought extras that I didn't see, but uh, yeah, I do. But like I was just saying, I appreciate your feedback, and I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll take that into account and see what I can do to make it as unintrusive as possible. So we're stuck with this. It's probably not going to end well. I do have all that smite though, which I think I'm going to have to use. Um, realistically speaking, I don't think I can get out of this one without blasting this guy with just a ton of smites. It's only 24 per shot. I can do it plenty of times and really mess him up. So I think I would like to start with their heroes. Probably whichever one is weakest. Uh, Slirta. I think I can probably just one-shot her. Goodbye. Okay, that's one hero down. Um, Want to get you up to a good position. Now, who can teleport, bypass walls, all that good stuff? The Deathbringer has Shadow Step. Uh, the Crossbowman doesn't really worry me. Those guys kind of do. I think, and they're all considered infantry, so they're going to climb right up and over those walls. I think what I'm going to do, the Cherubs are not nearly tanky enough to deal with those guys, so I'm going to try to soften them up with their Spirit Elemental over here. I can bless somebody, or bestow Iron Heart on somebody, uh, which would give them extra armor and whatnot, but I think... I'm going to wait and use that later for healing. So many cherubs. Okay. I'll leave them all in some decent flanking positions. This guy, I may as well move up here. You can throw spears at something. Uh, I want to get actually... Okay, I want to get these guys up here. Now, some of these cherubs have the arcane catalyst, so they're going to turn into a lesser elemental when they die. And I also have the option of using mighty meek to really buff them. Um, not sure if I want to do that. We'll see. For the time being, I want this spirit elemental right here. So he can move forward or move to the side and shoot in either direction as needed. Uh, the firstborn I'm going to have stand in the gate to try to distract stuff and hopefully get it to kind of funnel through here. Which would be ideal, I think. Um, you move here. You get a little further that way. And some setup kind of like this will be good enough, I think, until I get a better idea of what exactly they're going to throw at me. Okay, so don't like that. Because that gives all their... All my devout units are suffering resistance. Or is this... Okay, so is he considered devout? I'm actually thinking he's not. I think I mentioned that earlier in the series. Yes, technically spirit elementals are not devout. 
uh, the firstborn would be. So his resistance got significantly nerfed, which sucks. Um, and the priest would be. Plus, the bigger problem here is that their resistance all got buffed. Uh, including this guy's resistance to smite, which is annoying. Hmm. I keep flipping past smite in here. Yeah, well, it's 45% still, but it would do less damage. These guys could still get obliterated by it, though. And it would do a lot of damage to the Firstborn, but I might wait until they let their guard down to try it. Oh, uh, whoops, Deathbringers. Okay, I was looking at the Elf Initiate. I don't really care about her. Can maybe get rid of the Crossbowman, but he doesn't feel that important. The Deathbringers are a little more important. The Firstborns are kind of important. Uh, I really want to get rid of this, but if I fail at disjuncting it... Plus, they could just recast it, so it might not matter. I think I better stick with smites, even just to punch through the extra resistance. Uh, I might be able to break somebody's spirit if I get really lucky. And, uh... Yeah, let's, let's see if I can do that. I'm gonna keep the elemental here. Let's get this out of the way. I'm gonna keep the elemental here because I don't want these guys getting up in its face any sooner than needs be. Does this guy have the Arcane Catalyst ability? Yes, he does, supercharged. Okay, so I might put him here and sit on defense. In the meantime, shoot him a few times. All right, nope, no luck in that regard. That's okay. See if I can s just take a few shots at the hero, try to scorch him. I'm gonna just soften that hero up and try to kill him, I think. It's, uh, Smite's only got a 45% chance to work, but if it does work, it's got a decent chance to kill. Okay, he resisted. That's fine. I'll get him on the next round. He'll probably heal, though. I think he's a Theocrat. Ah, oh, stiffened limbs. No. What just hit? Oh. The Deathbringer just O-code my, uh, my cherubs. Well, you jerk. All right. Deathbringer also let its guard down, which is good. I think I may send out one of the supercharged cherubs. To go flank him. Well, hang on. Let's see. So Smite should actually kill him. Yes. But I might want to use it on that Deathbringer instead. I would prefer to kill this hero through other means if possible. I think I will flank him and then shoot fire at him. 2 to 4 to 12. I will do this. Flank him once. Because I may need these guys to deal with that Deathbringer. Wait, you can't flank the Deathbringer. Crap. Well, it may not matter. Okay. I will instead do this. That's a worthy sacrifice to get rid of a hero, I think. Which will allow me to... Scorch these guys. Hopefully. No, didn't get the Scorch. Okay, let's smite them. Ah, crap, he resisted. That kind of sucks. Alright. Uh, next idea would be to sit these cherubs here on defense just to force him to do something else on this turn. Alright, let's move up here to this firstborn mess. Decent chance at Broken Spirit on that guy. I should probably take that. And I kind of want to block that route, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do is move here. Come on, Broken Spirit. Oh, dang it. Come on. All right, I'm going to move 
him or start moving him that way. Crap, he can't actually make it very far. I want to get another cherub in the way over there. Uh, I think I'm going to need him up there. Alright, well, I can start picking off at these guys a little bit, I guess. In fact, I could fly out there with a cherub and turn him around. Flank him. Could probably kill him with a flank, I think. I may as well. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some, some lesser elementals out of these cherubs. You can stay there. Good luck. I wish you all the best. Oh, he just wasted a fireball on that cherub. A lot of stuff just happened really fast. Sorry, that was poor camera positioning on my part. Oh, they revived somebody as a cadaver. I don't know why I didn't. Wait, where was their... How did they do that? Because I, I didn't think they had a uh, reanimator. It must be a... I don't honestly know for sure. Alright, well, let's try to hopefully break somebody's spirit here. No such luck, but... Ooh, I don't like that matchup. The Cherub could kill him. And the Cherub is going to die anyway, so... You should defend, I think. Let him attack me. He's not going to kill me in one go, and then I'll have an opportunity to bestow Iron Heart. Who needs a smite? Trick question. Everyone needs a good smite. The cherubs just don't do anything to these guys. Uh, Spearman's got a small chance to kill him. But I kind of wanted a war cry and just go nuts on the... on this guy's, like, behind him. just to dish out as much damage as I can as quickly as I can. I think what I'm going to do is smite the smite this one. Okay, good. Now what are my options? The problem is that those guys can't be flanked. So could definitely kill him with the war cry approach. I'm gonna do that. War cry, attack. There we go. It wasn't a definite kill, but it was enough. Okay, I think all that's left now is just a bunch of cherubs. Are you supercharged? What's a supercharged one? You there. I need you to go give your life for the cause. Now you're a lesser shadow elemental. And you can hit him again. Too bad you don't get to keep those. Alright. Probably I have a decent chance of killing with this one, so I'm going to do that. Okay. That little problem solved then. And I guess the cadaver can just eat those guys. Oh, crap, skin of oil. Dang. No! There goes a perfectly good firstborn. Didn't see skin of oil coming there. Alright, got another elemental, so that's at least useful. I can, uh... I can weaken one of these guys. I like the sound of that. You know what? Weaken that one. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe I can do something about that one. We'll see. All right, you guys can go deal with that cadaver pre pretty easily. Okay, maybe not easily, but you should be able to deal with that cadaver. It's maybe a better way of phrasing it. All right. Ideas for that lady down there. I'm going to flank with those guys and then throw spears. Hopefully that does it, but it's not going to. That's a-okay. I kind of just want this one to die, so I'm going to weaken him. Well, hey, I got broken spirit off, but it wasn't quite enough to kill. Bye, cherubs. All right, things are getting a little down to the wire here. You need to finish that guy off, please. You need to finish him off. You should probably move here and finish her off. How far can these guys move? Not that far. That should work. So now it's just the one left. All right, now I need to get him goaded into attacking something. Uh, you guys, do you get Warcry back? Can't use ability for one turn, but they will get it back. Let's let's bestow Iron Heart on you. He won't be that useful against a Firstborn, but maybe he can at least absorb an attack or something. At least he doesn't have any uh, fire weakness. Maybe I should have bestowed Iron Heart on him. I think I'm actually going to use him as the cannon fodder here. Because the Spearman actually has more damage output potential. Okay. So, what we're going to do is position you guys here. Actually, position you here. You are the one that can sit this guy here. Now if he comes in and attacks, what's his odds of killing? Reasonably pretty good, so I'm going to sit on defense. Which makes it a lot harder for him to kill me in one hit. And once his guard is down, I can try breaking his spirit, then I can try smiting. And that should kill him. Okay, no broken spirit. I'm going to leave you on defense. Give him something to do for another turn. In the meantime, I'm going to... Oh, wait, these guys have sprint. That's right. War cry. Poke him in the back a few times. Now you're on fire, and I can go for a smite. Failed. Might want to take advantage of this guy now. I think I can get him. Yep. Well, a little messy, but I held my city. And now I just have to pray that the next wave doesn't show up too fast. But I already know. Wait, was that other one from down here? That I don't remember. There were, there were two big stacks there. And I know I only saw one up here. So I'm wondering if the other one was down in this area. But that couldn't have been right because they couldn't have gone through that cave wall there. Huh. Where did they come from? Oh, dang. Oh, dang. All right, let's go. Karzin, if there was ever a time for you to shine, now would be it. Let's do this. I still got 100 casting points, bring it on. Is his leader in here somewhere? I didn't think to check for that. Hmm. 
Well, sitting behind my walls ain't gonna work. And again, there is so much firepower out there on the battlefield that even if I give Absorb Bane to cars and then send them out, I fear... All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Still, the strat is Absorb Pain on Karzin. They're gonna probably try to dispel the heck out of his buffs though, which is gonna kinda suck. But I think I just have to play around that. Karzin is going to, s to go out to the side here and start coming at him in a line. For starters, let's get him here in a somewhat safe-ish spot because he's going to cast a spell. Karzin gets... Uh, oh, I wanted Last Stand. I don't have that yet. I could have gotten it, but I didn't. Now I'm kind of wishing I had it. Well, Karzin's going to give himself Lion's Courage. You are going to absorb pain. And as for the rest of you, I don't know. <laughs> Necromancer's army needs to probably play this one careful because they would get shredded by all that crap. I don't even know, in a battle against a dreadnought like this, you don't even know who you want up on the walls because the walls are just gonna get vaporized. I can maybe throw a curse out at somebody. It's like Elf Swordsman. Actually, Elf Swordsman's a good target for that because he's an elf. So, weakness, it doesn't matter, but they do have weakness to poison. Uh, you there, back up. In fact, generally speaking, I want my Necromancer stuff away from those walls for the time being. Then we'll just kind of see how the battle develops. Uh, you probably, you could, yeah, he could have tried cursing. I guess he still could. Move them, I'll move him up here. Uh, the giant can throw boulders at the very least. I think I'll have a firstborn stand here and just sort of see what happens. Put the giant here. And leave pretty much everybody on defense. And I'm not going to do anything else just yet. I want to see if they try to dispel Karzin's buffs or if they go with other spells. They're just going to try to shred through the walls, which is fine. It'll make it easier for my infantry to get to them. Okay, he just took a shot to the face. But I think that's Karzin's cue because now all those cannons have to reload. I think I'm going to target these two on the left here first, or on the right. Directions are hard. Uh, if I had somebody to dis dis bestow Iron Heart, all right. Oh, I should have run him down here and given Carson touched by faith. Uh, well, that's okay. For now, let's put him out here. There you go, everybody. Something to shoot at. Okay, Dwarf needs healing. That guy needs healing, too. I should have healed him on the last turn. Um, let's do this. Heal undead. Or maybe he, maybe he took damage on the last turn. I'm not sure. You heal undead. You heal him. Uh, I just made a prime target for that juggernaut, but ah, whatever. These guys are literally just buying time. I think they they can't deal with this that stuff. That's a flame tank. That no, 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 no. They can't deal with all that. They need to back up and just kind of be a distraction while Carson does all the heavy lifting. And uh, you need to. Oh yeah, that's right. He needs to hang out near healers. Just gonna be that include that wraith. It's a game of keeping Karzin alive at this point, I think. Now these guys can throw a boulder here, no problem, because most of those cannons uh, shot, and they can actually kill that adventurer. So that 
I hate halflings so much. Please disregard everything I've said. None of it matters when you're fighting the halflings. All right, you're a healer too, so converge on the evangelist, please. And for my other firstborn, oh yeah, you're the one who got healed. I think I'm just gonna end turn there. Okay, well, if the flame tank wants to come up in the middle of everything, I think we can oblige that. Yeah, I was worried about that. I bunched everybody up there. That was a bad idea. Oh, so much fire. So much death. So much range. Aha! Karzin's lucky. These guys aren't going to be able to slow stuff down for long enough. Okay, what is this? That's a battering ram? Why do they have a battering ram? I don't care about that. I care about... I care about putting Carson right about there. If I can uh, do this right, I can take advantage of killing momentum. If I can finish something in there and then maybe get a hit in on something else. Or Carson could just try to break this juggernaut while he's here. Don't... I don't want to forget, I've got Wreck, and I probably need to use it. Um, these guys are going to have to do something about all this crap. I got a feeling that Glutton is not going to survive for much longer. Uh, I kind of need to keep them back for heals on the Exalted for as long as I can manage it. What can you do to that flame tank? You do have Demolisher. That's worth something at least. Otherwise, you don't have anything that great. It's not compared to other spells I could cast. Blessing of Health, Instant Wrath, Divine Protection. Could give Karzin Divine Protection. I don't think that's going to matter much though, and it only lasts for three turns. I think uh, Wreck is the way to go, uh, aside from possibly Disintegrate, see what my odds are on a few things. Not not good enough to risk it. It's Wreck is a lot cheaper, and I think more useful, and I can just target it at things Karzin can kill. Speaking of which, could Karzin kill that Battering Ram? No, but I don't care about the Battering Ram. Karzin can go here. I get Wreck. On the second page, there we go. War cry. All right. Nicely done, sir. Good job. I might be able to turn that thing around. My giants are gonna die, probably. My firstborn, I think, are gonna die. But I don't know. We'll we'll see what I can do here. Can turn you around and maybe kill you with Karzin. No, not unless he crits. Might be better off to have Karzin just nourishing meal himself. I'm gonna have him move this way to get a little closer to the rest of the action and give him a little extra health because that lasts for the remainder of the battle. And gives him some extra happiness. Not that that's really too much of an issue, but what else? What else does he have? Does he have anything else sneaky he could do? He's got spells. I could see what else. Oh, I already used spell. Um, nourishing meals, fine. Just in case. Just a little backup plan. Just in case things don't work out with the. Exalted back here. Speaking of, I know the two of you need to head back, and you, I want to get the heck out of there as well, although you're going to need to use your healing on yourself for the moment. Um, my firstborn are the best answer to that stuff over there, so that's where I think they need to go. The 
dragon might be able to help, but he's going to die if he tries. But I think he's going to die anyway. <laughs> so, get over here. You may as well go smack that flame tank once. I didn't want you to stand in the gate, dummy. Whatever. I think it's important that I kill that on this turn, even if it means risking the dragon. Although I'd prefer to do it... Oh, you know what? I bet I could do it with a range attack. Uh, what does he have at his disposal? He does have shock bolts. Okay. He's got a range penalty. Can he shoot any... He can shoot it a little further. I want to back him up as much as I can. Shock bolts, where are you? I don't really, the reason I'm doing this, there it is. The reason I'm doing this is I don't really want the dragon to get caught in this explosion that's about to happen. Okay. Cadavers can go, oh, these things have tireless though, that won't work. Well, he can go get in the way be a nuisance always in favor of that uh you oh he's got oh right he's got killing mountain too that's good because i was just thinking how i thought i was worried he might die um all right so for the time being i want you to heal yourself though don't want to lose the necro Now I can get my dragon back. He's got both regular reanimate undead and greater reanimate undead. So I can potentially get both my dragger, my, my dragger. What is that word? My dragon and my halfling, uh, or not halfling reanimator, the reanimator that was in with this army. I can potentially get both of them back. Um, I can't, I don't know for sure though, if I'm going to be able to, there's just so much stuff out there. All right, for now, I think I want the dragon moved over here. With that flame tank gone, I just want it to get away from the other flame tank. You're good here. In fact, why don't you guys move into some cover? The more defensive spot there in the better. The giant might die here. We'll see. And I can't cast spells, so oh, here we go. Please don't kill that priest. Ah, all the luckies. Did you not see what just happened to the last juggernaut that tried this? Oh good, he's actually kind of... I, I don't mind the position that Juggernaut took, and carson has got plenty of stuff to smash over here, so this is good. I think I want to get rid of one of those cannons. Uh, I know they both just shot, so it's not like the perfect situation, but... Alright, you... Seriously, get the frick away from all that crap. You... Back up here, and provide healing as necessary, which would include now. Um, you just get away from everything. Now, I don't suppose you can... Nope, you cannot eat a robot. That's too bad. I don't understand why. I could... I probably need to just go for that. Hope I can kill him. If I get a couple big hits, I will. If he retaliates, he'll punch... You'll hit pretty hard, but... At this point, I need to just kind of go for it. That gets him out of the way. And then these guys... Actually, I'm very thrilled that Juggernaut decided to come over and party with that group. Okay, so Karzin can, of course, continue to do a lot of damage to this stuff. But I want to try, if I can... I wish I had Warcry again. This is an even better situation to have it in. Um, I want to try to... 
I want to try to kill another Juggernaut if I can, because both those guys are on reload. These guys will have their mortar ready on the next turn, which I don't want to deal with. So what I think I'm going to do is wreck again. Cast wreck. Karzin could potentially kill this. I got a feeling the giant has about seen the end of his days. I'm wondering if maybe I can... No, that's not really going to work. Who's left here? That guy's got a shot. This guy just used his, so he's got to reload. I just need the giant to get one decent throw on that juggernaut, and I'm pretty sure Karzin could kill it. And then start damaging the next one. But I might be sacrificing my giant in order to make that happen. But I think sometimes sacrifices must be made. I don't want to mess around with this battle, so please make it worth it. All right, good. Thank you. Then I can get a hit in on this one. All right. Meanwhile, I think I want this firstborn to go give a nice warm welcome to my high elf friends here. Just hit him. Yeah. Get him off the wall. You guys stay here. They're, they're, they are what's keeping Karzin alive. Well, and to decide the fact that Karzin's an absolute monster. I was telling some people in the comments, I don't think I've ever had a hero as powerful as he is before. Uh, as for you, I don't really know what to do with Farron here. There's a few options. He could hang around here and maybe resurrect one of these things if they go down. Or I could go try to get my halfling back, but that would probably just result in the halfling getting obliterated. So I think for now I'm just going to kind of hide Farron back here. Uh, um, my dragon might be able to go harass that elder and maybe... Maybe kill him. Of course, the Elder could just fireball the dragon into oblivion too, so I'm not really sure how that would work out. I think for now, I will put the dragon here. Leave him on defense. Since Karzin seems to be drawing most of the attention down here. I think my giant's gone. Yep, there he goes. Is a shame. Too lucky for you. Okay. Fortunately, everyone is still wasting a lot of time trying to hit Karzin. Uh, those guys should be able to survive for a bit longer. Uh, long enough for this orc to hopefully get healing back. I want to put him behind that building. Now, what do we got going on up here? This thing has decided to run in. I'm going to try to eat it. You go flank it a couple times. Ooh, good. And you should be able to kill it. All right, excellent. And then it's just these guys. Care if you're covered in fire, you can't handle that. Apparently the wall is blown up. How can they get down there? Oh, they'd be on the wall if they do that, because they're infantry. Okay. Um I'd like I'd really like to keep these firstborn alive at least. So they can stick around with Karzin. He's already lost his giant. I think, I think the Rex strat is what I want to continue carry on with. But I also, you know what? These guys are a problem being up here. That flame tank needs to go.
If I kill the flame tank, it blows up the cannon. Alright, here's what's going to happen. Carson can take that hit. And he can go after the flame tank. Now, I want to make sure I kill the flame tank. So I'm going to wreck the flame tank. Because I'm actually more scared of them than I am of the dang juggernauts, I think. Or dreadnoughts. Or whatever these... Th no, they're juggernauts. Uh... You stay on defense. You're doing great. You're doing great, buddy. I think I'm going to move Farron back down. Can that thing shoot on this turn, or does it need to reload? That's got to reload. Okay. That'll give every all those guys time to back up if they need to. All right, for the time being, Farron's gonna come back here. Provide some healing to this guy, just to make sure he stays alive. And because Farron's had healing for a while and has yet to use it. Oh, can't use ability for one turn. Okay, never mind. I did use it with Farron. All right, then Farron can stay on defense. Uh, the Firstborn, I'm going to send over here to support the... Actually, I'm going to send that Firstborn down the wall. I know that leaves his guard down, but I'm hoping Carson's making him enough distraction for other things. I just want to try to get a hit on that can. Actually, I'm not sure if I can get an attack of opportunity when I'm on a wall like that. Oh no. Not 100% about that. Alright. I thought they might go after him. He's kind of an appealing target. But there's not a lot of other units around him, so I figured it would probably be okay. Oh, they're gunning for him! Stop! 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 Oh my gosh! Okay, fortunately I have like three heal three heals ready to go on this turn. Or no, two. Uh alright, back up more. Actually, I want you on this side, because you're more damaged. I think I actually might want that Orc Priest to heal himself. Because even if the Exalted does go down, he'll come back. Yeah, I would rather keep that Orc Priest alive if I can. I don't think Karzin's in danger of dying anytime soon, even if he does lose that Absorb Pain. Alright, I'm gonna have to do something about that Juggernaut. Do you get Warcry back anytime soon? One more turn, he gets another Warcry. Let's, uh, let's wreck. Which seems to be working well. I only get two more of these and just dish out as much damage to this Juggernaut as I possibly can. Alright, now can I... Yeah, there's not much he can do. Uh, just sit there on defense, I guess. If he's on defense, it's less likely he'll die from stuff shooting at the uh, Exalted. Or it's less like the Exalted would die for stuff shooting at him, I guess is what I meant to say. Alright, you guys gotta get out there and deal with these frickin' cannons. That one has to reload now. This one is engaged, so it can't shoot. So I don't really need to worry about either of them at the moment. Get off the wall. You get in there. Deal some damage. All right, that other one, if it knows what's best for it, will run. And I'm going to start sending the glutton back this way. Let's see what happens. They might bring up stuff. I mean, they got the trebuchet that could throw something. They might 
I might be able to kill that bone dragon here. But I will try to remember to get everybody back. Or everybody that I can back from my necromancer's army. Everybody reloads. Oh, almost killed him, but not quite. Okay, good, good. I was just more mostly worried about this guy. I wanted to get him back in the wall so if doesn't something does kill him, it'd be easier for Farron to get to him. Also, these guys have seen more than enough fighting for one day. I think they need to get back up into a safe-ish area and hold ground because I don't want them to die. Um, Karzin should be able to handle the rest of this, no problem, as long as I can manage to keep it distracted by Karzin. That battering ram is just being a little pain in the butt. Think I can kill the halfling adventurer, everyone? Who knows? You know, if the battering ram comes back here, I can deal with it. It's not a concern. Let's try to kill this little idiot. There we go. And then put Karzin in a decent place to handle some of these guys. That'll work. Alright, you need more healing. Of course you do. Um, the Wraiths can manage that for now. You get as far back as you can. And Farron might need you in a few different places. We'll have to play that by ear. For now, I think Farron being here is probably good. Wouldn't mind getting you out of the heavy fighting either. They don't handle physical damage very well due to the low defense. You stay on defense, and I think everybody is good. Still got 20 casting points left, enough for one more wreck. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but... Okay, there goes the Bone Dragon. Not a big deal. I can get him back. Oh my gosh. He's taking a beating. All right. Okay, Karzin can eat some stuff alive now here, I think. In fact, I don't think I even need to cast a spell to do it. Okay, it's two less cannons I gotta worry about. You guys keep running. I'd like to get you back closer to where some healers are. Battering Ram turned around, so Farron doesn't need to deal with that, but he is going to need to get that Bone Dragon back up. And the Glutton, I just want out of the way. So Farron can move up here, staying behind cover. And that Exalted is probably going to go down here, unless Farron heals him again too, so I should do that if he can. He's got nourishing meal. That's better than nothing. And did I get him in the way? No, neither of them can heal on this turn. He's got to keep him alive a little longer. Now, I'm worried about these cannons chasing down my other units in there. I, I considered having Karzin go back and deal with the guys on the walls. Which I probably should have done. I'm hoping the cannons kind of reload, retreat, reload like they do. Yeah, like that. Then I can at least chase them down. Okay. Karza didn't take much damage here, so this guy should still be alive. And I think these guys probably have healing back, so I'll continue to provide that. Let's see if I can get my bone dragon back. Where is the dragon? He died somewhere around here. One of those two spaces, okay. 
move up. There's a little free cover there. Bone Dragon and the other is my, that's, okay, I did have a Halfling Reanimator with this group. I thought he was with Ganons. Maybe he had more than one. I'm not sure. Well, I want to make sure to use the good one on the Bone Dragon, obviously. Okay, I think I want... I'm not going to be able to really stop that thing, but I can stop this one. That one has to reload, though. The weapon is not loaded. This one, the weapon is loaded. So I think I got to go after this one. And now might be a decent time to use Wreck. I don't know. I think I'm just going to hit him and then see what he does. It may be able to turn me around, but... At worst, it'll probably shoot at Karzin, because all my other stuff's way the heck over here. Let's just get everybody behind cover. Oh. Defending a Dreadnought Siege sucks, guys. That's not going to be allowed. How you doing, buddy? You still hanging in there? All right, good. We got somebody cycling healing in and out on you pretty much every turn at this point. Uh, including this guy, he's got healing packs, so may as well do that. We can go ahead and heal him up. And heal him up some more. You guys just get away from stuff. I need to remember to go back out and get my reanimator before the battle ends. And I'm going to put these guys behind cover over here. Oh, I still got that trebuchet way out here throwing crap at me. Okay. Well, I want to kill him. Carson can move back and, I don't know, throw a spear at that guy, I guess. All the cannons are now reloaded. Need to do something about this thing. Which one of you guys has more health? Actually, you gotta come out there anyway, so. Can uh, cast a shock bolt at it or something. Yeah. Oh, that'll do practically nothing. I may as well sit on defense. Actually, Farron will be fine. The extra damage, even if it's only one to two, is worth it in this situation. Yay, two. Okay, they're not going to kill a firstborn in one hit, so... I'll let those guys deal with them. They're all out of healing. I think they can just stay where they are. And Karzin probably needs to go pressure those cannons. Yeah. Uh, I should have left him on defense, actually. Crap. Because this thing's just going to come in and turn me... That battering ram is being a pain in the butt. Oh, well. I don't think they can reach anything. Uh, they're going to keep shooting at... Oh, uh, no. Not fair. Okay, well now he has to reload. So I'm going to War Cry. Oh look, I've still got two action points left just for you. Get off of me. Stupid little thing. 
Alright, Farron, uh, cannot risk him dying. I need... Well, the, the dragon can go out there and finish that off. There's nothing outside now, so he's fine. Um, Farron actually has undying. In fact, now would actually be a good time for Her Farron to get that halfling reanimator back up. Farron has undying, so even if something kills him, he will come back. Um, I'm thinking I may need to swarm that cannon with stuff in a minute here. So I'm going to move them up and even move the exalted up. I might actually need them here in a second. Oh, I was going to give them more healing. Oh, well. I'll get some next round. Okay. How about I go here? That way, even if this one shoots me, I still get an attack of opportunity on you if you move. In the meantime, I'm going to continue focusing healing on these guys. Well, I don't know that I need to do it much. I'll just do this. I'll heal them once, and then I'll send them out. Like I said, they've got resurgence, so they may as well help Karzin fight now. Two cannons aren't going to kill Karzin. The rest of you guys, though, are freaking fragile, so, like, get behind stuff just in case, please. And thank you. See, this is why I did not want to, why I was concerned about leaving the Necromancer alone. Ooh, yeah. Wouldn't have mattered, but still, good try. This is why I was a little concerned about leaving the Necromancer alone in this city, uh, if something like this happened. So I'm, I'm actually glad they, they went for it, and uh, now I get to take out all their crap. May as well throw a war cry in here for good measure, and Karzin can finish this off. I could heal, but I just want it dead. I want this battle to be over. Oh, man. You know what? Out of all that, I only lost the giant. That, I think that's a good trade. I'm more than happy with that. That's a lot of crap I just blew up. Okay, but yes, Karzin's army is unfortunately down one giant, so uh, we will all mourn his loss. Farron's army, on the other hand, is all beat up to heck, but they'll survive. May want to swap the cadaver out because it's going to degenerate health. I'm not so sure how I feel about sending Farron out by himself. Ooh, hang on, hang on. There's their leader. And I did just take out a big chunk of their army, so do I want to just get super aggressive with Farron and go after their leader? Because their capital is just southeast of that, so Farron takes the road down this way. Not Farron, uh, Tar... 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 Tarzan? Karzan. <laughs> Tarzan. Oh, he ran back. Okay, he ran to the northeast, so he's over here somewhere now. So if Karzan takes the road down this way, Maybe I could uh, meet up with him, give him a nice little surprise. You know what I think I'm going to do? Mm, uh, I don't know. I might reconsider that, actually. I was thinking about putting Embrace Darkness out here, but I don't really see myself producing units out here, so... Why is he not doing anything about this city? Is he going to take that or what? Because it's going to be plundered in one turn, so... And I'm going to get a big chunk of gold if he doesn't. Well, it is still Orange's turn because it's pretty much... No, he didn't take it. Okay, so I think I, uh, that city should plunder and I'll get a nice big chunk of gold at the beginning of my turn. I think. Um, okay, well that's... Hey, they finally caught up with that cherub. Oh, they didn't. The Independents did. Hang on, that's a flame tank, though? I think I can actually save this. That should be pretty slow. It does technically have a range attack, but... We'll see. They're, they're, they're pretty darn slow. 
lead him through some rocks and stuff. You do not get to kill my cherub. Alright. So I do save the cherub. So he still remains. And maybe we'll join up with Karzin. Okay, that city did get plundered. Should have attacked it when you had the chance. Alright, that is a little more than I care to process right now. All oh, the notifications. We will get to the rest of this in the next episode. I think it's time to call this one, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I I had a blast with this episode. Oh gosh, that sounds like a pun. I didn't mean it that way. Well, oh, man, maybe I did a little. But I did have a blast with this episode. That was fun. And it's good to see a big chunk of the Dreadnought army taken out. So I think I'm going to call it here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, including Tier 3 supporters Blitz, Brayden, Adam James, Jim Bro, and Tarzak. Thanks so much, everybody. 